Shalom mom sister. So I figure I'll do a quick video since I haven't uploaded in like two weeks. I know I've just been going through um, a tough first trimester of pregnancy and I finally got over it. All praise to the most high. So I feel so much better. But one of the things that I've been doing to make me feel better is um, writing poetry, reading the scriptures, just trying to stay in the spirit. I'm, <laughs> I'm look. I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do um, what I said I was going to do. Yeah, but I don't know if I can do it. Y'all want to say shalom? No. Okay, so let me write, let me go ahead. I'm talking about let me write. So I figure I'll just recite my poem since I finally have a little bit of time to do it. And this poem is for sisters, okay? Okay, it's called Old Daughters of Zion. I wish I could put this, I wish I had somewhere to put this. Hold on, let me put, oh, that's a spider web. Hold on, <laughs> let me put it right here. Going on. Oh, oh shoot! That's a spider web. Hold on. Oh, dang, that's perfect. But it might fall. It's not yet. Look, this is so silly. Oh, I feel like what is she doing? just hold it I'm being extra okay so the poem is called old daughters as I am O daughters of Zion, put off thy weak nature, come and eat the sweet honey that turns bitter with gladness. Perceiving what Solomon said, all vanity is madness and folly at heart. Separated from the world, formed in a womb from the start. Not being lukewarm, but staying in the scriptures, fervent with heat. The word is meat, keep you full like you're ready to sleep. Having in your past spirit a light that shines so bright that it speaks. O daughters of Zion. Having a revolutionary state of mind, meditating on precepts all the time. Like knocking it shall be open, seek it then you shall find it. Try to remain righteous, my tongue is a law of kindness. Stand humble and grounded, willing to kiss Yahweh's feet. Remaining meek and circumspect. Stand lowly of them all because the Lord giveth wisdom to her, but to the proud woman she shall fall. Loving your husband and maintaining your cause. Through the spirit you were called and now you're feeling like you're chosen. Royalty, the Lord chose you, feeling predestined, pick you up when you were broken. Molded you into a vessel worthy to hold water, pure and clean, dusted you off, calling you his own daughter. Knowing that having faith in him, nothing is impossible. Precept upon precept, feeling unstoppable. Learning the things that are acceptable and abominable. O daughters of Zion, two options. Keep your crown tight, knowing that the Most High is watching, and that your Yahweh is coming through like a thief in the night. Or let Satan come and take it away, a dry plant that wasn't rooted, and look, now you withered away. Leaving you reprobate silver, rejected of the Lord, because you never feared him or getting thrust through with his sword. O daughters of Zion, learning from all our lessons, growing with constant progression, taking heed to distractions and staying intact with your actions. Job said, the Lord giveth and take it away. Blessed be the Lord always after losing his family and estate. Prime example of faith, God doubling it in, coming out with winds, trusted in the Lord with no end. Through pestilence and peeling skin, he never went astray. So enduring his truth, so like you, so enduring his word and always have faith. The same woman that was with Yahweh is still here today. So call hello, how about Shimmy, how shy, sisters. Hopefully y'all understood that, of course, y'all get it. Y'all watching the channel, y'all in the truth. But always endure in this truth, you know, the most high, pretty much, like I said in the poem, picked us up, you know, cleaned us off, made us a vessel worthy to hold water. And water is the truth, is the word. Living water, you know what I mean? You gotta stay thirsty, always getting living, getting living water. Your body's a new vessel, you know what I mean? Most High is merciful for real, and we just gotta thank Him. Or you can be, like I brought out in the poem, you can be that dry plant that wasn't rooted in anything, you wasn't rooted in the truth, and you can wither away. Meaning that you wasn't rooted in the truth, and now anybody, and staying away from false doctrines. You can get rooted, you cannot be rooted in the truth, and next thing you know, or not grounded, in the truth and next thing you know you think it's okay for you to start wearing pants again you think it's acceptable to wear jumpsuits you think it's acceptable to eat crabs you think it's acceptable to break the sabbath you know what i mean 
Next thing you know, you add in sin on top of sin because you wasn't really rooted in the truth because you wasn't really because you're so lucky because you wasn't really taking it seriously. You know what I mean? And it's a dangerous game to play. Like, don't do it. Stay rooted and grounded in this truth. Don't ever feel like you got to go back into the world or don't ever doubt that you how about you how it's shy not coming back. Oh, we going to be here forever. Oh, well, I might as well just do this. Don't don't add sin on top of sin. You know what I mean? Don't get destroyed in this captivity. You know what I mean? Stay away from people that's in the world. If you around people in the, that's in the world, look, they going eventually all this all and my 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 Akim can say it too. All the people that I've seen that's in this truth that stay around people in the world end up going back into the world. You got to separate yourself. How can two walk together unless they agree? So y'all really got to stay strong in this truth. Endure. Have faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is coming back to save us. And always, you know, praise and thank Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for his mercy and for picking us up, you know what I mean, when we was broken. So that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully y'all enjoyed the poem. Let me know what y'all think. Shalom.